Risk Management. Hey, what's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, um, I want us to take a look at when to, you know, cut your losses and run away. Um, a lot of people lose money day trading. So the question is, um, at what point do you decide to to stop um, and get out and not blow up your account because you're hoping? So we're we'll gonna take a look at that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Content. So most people um, blow up their account day training because they they're hoping that oh it's gonna bounce back. So before you get into any trade um, as for day traders, in, in my experience, again, um, I'm not a professional day trader. Everything I'm telling you guys is my personal experience that I've actually learned um, over the years. So when you get into a trade, you have to have what I call your exit strategy. Um, don't go in there without a strategy because that's gonna lead to you blowing up your account really, really fast. Um, and then the one thing that I wanna tell you right now is that hoping when you're day trading doesn't work. Don't hope that it would it would bounce back. No, if it doesn't go your way, cut your losses and run. And sometimes you would cut your losses too quick and then you sit back and be like, I wish I'd stayed in that trade just a few minutes. Uh, and then the next thing is, the other one would be like, man, I wish I had exited that trade you know, a long time ago because it just keeps going down. So uh, you need to develop an exit strategy. So take for instance, if you go into a trade and let's say you're buying a stock at $10 a piece and you're looking at all the numbers, you're anticipating that that thing will squeeze up and maybe break 10, 50, 11, so you can make some profit. And then your exit strategy would be, if you think, if you think I go in at $10, and if, if, if it just kind of goes down to 950, get me out. I don't even want to. I'd, I'd rather get out and then wait for another confirmation before I can get back in. But most people, what usually happens is they don't have that exit strategy. They go in at let's say $10 and it drops down to $9.50. They, in their mind, the thing is like, oh, this thing might bounce back and then go back to 10 to 11 to 12 and they'll make some profit. Next thing you know, it drops down to, to, to nine. Now you're down a dollar a share. So if you if you went in or 100 shares, think about it. that that's you losing money at that point. The next thing is if you don't cut your losses early, if it keeps going south, you're just going to sit there with your fingers crossed hoping that again I'm using the word hope because again, for day trading if you don't have that strategy you're hoping boy, are you gonna be a sad person. So always go in with a mindset that I am willing to take my losses early and get out rather than sit there and blow up my account so quick. So your, your exit strategy, again, you can use your stop loss. That is for starters. If you are just starting, this is where stop loss comes into play. In, with Weibo, that's where I especially like the platform, is that you can actually set that stop loss um, upfront. So if I'm going to a trade, you can say, I'm going in um, at $10, you know, I'll set my limit order to 10, and then my stop loss at 9.50, it might take profit, I'd say 11 or 12, depending on uh, your analysis. And then, so, and the good thing is, you can always move that stop loss and you can move that take profit. It's less that the stock moves up to $11 and your stop loss is at 9.50. Now I can move my stop loss to say 10.50 because at that point I've secured some profit. I don't know if that makes sense. So imagine that you you go into a trade, your stop loss is ten is nine fifty, um, and your take profit is say twelve dollars. The stock goes from ten to eleven, so you're up a dollar a share. So now what I'll do is I'll move my stop loss from nine fifty to ten fifty because at that point I'm securing fifty cents a share uh, in profit, and that is the best place that you want to be as as a day trader. So if you get to the point where you can secure that profit, boy, oh boy, it is beautiful. And you're just sitting there looking at it, it's like, man. But with Weibo, um, after hour trading doesn't allow you to use stop loss uh, and take profit. So you can only do that during um, normal hours. That's 8.30 to 3 uh, p.m. Central Time, my time. So um, again, here guys, I just want to let you guys know the strategy that um, you, you don't want to blow up your account because just the little things that you do will blow up your account so fast. So always, if you're starting out, use stop loss, whether you like it or not. 
that would help you a ton um, you would cut your losses so quick and get out um, again in, in cases where you 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 see like hey I'm starting to make some profit then you move your stop loss and move it upward so um, if you have any questions with this particular question, because that's something that a lot of people have been asking me, um, and, and I've seen people complain about it. It's like, oh, I blew up my account, and now I have to restart all over again. So I prevent this and help yourself just stop this headache from, not, from happening by making sure that you have an exit strategy. Again, if you're using Weibo, you set what you want your exit strategy to be. If it's $50, you go in and say, okay, if, it, if, it, if it's 50 cents, excuse me, you go in and say, okay, I don't want to lose 50 cents um, per share in this, in, this, in this trade. So you go in, if it drops down 50 cents, like, get me out. And you take your take profit, you can say, I want to make a dollar fifty or $2, and if it goes up, and then you move your stop loss and just gradually follow that trade along the way. So that would be the strategy that I would say you can actually implement um, and it's going to help you a ton. So if you are looking to get started, again, Weibo is a platform that I currently use. Right now they're doing a promotion where they're giving out two free stocks uh, for you to get started just opening an account and depositing $100. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. You can definitely go check them out. Again, if you have any questions um, or comments, just leave them in, in, in the comment section below. I do answer all all the questions and comments that I get here on the channel so don't hesitate to drop any comments and as always guys stay motivated